from the children and welcome to the continuation video of the same topic that is soils of India which we have discussed about how this soil is formed and how what are the um, what are the things it helps in the formation of soil those who are rain, climate and the plants with it. Today we all are going to discuss about types of soil, how many types and what are these called. Okay, let's go. India is a vast country, our country is a very big country and different regions have the different types of soils. So let's go. So discuss about the black soil. The black soil, it is called the regular soil or cotton soil. This soil is black in color. It has a fine texture and it can retain a lot of water. It can hold a lot of water. So it has a high humus content and rich in clay. So this type of soil is suitable for growing cotton. It is formed in the breaking of formed by the breaking of lava rocks and lava rocks that erupt out of volcanoes. So this soil is found in the central and the northern western part of Maharashtra, Southern Plateau, Madhya Pradesh and the parts of Karnataka, even in the Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh and even in the Gujarat. Okay. Next is a red soil. This red soil is mostly found in the southern plateau region. Uh, this red soil contains iron which gives it a red color. With the presence of iron, the red soil looks red in color. So it is formed by the breaking of ignises or metamorphic rock. What is ignises? Ignises rocks are formed by the solidification of uh, molten magma and these metamorphic rocks are formed by the action of heating and pressure. These things we will uh, discuss later on in the next chapter. Okay. Now, and this uh, red soil is mostly found in the uh, where there will be uh, relatively or less rainfall. So it is not suitable for the growing crops. However, the farmer, farmer they use their own ways and means like they add manure and to manage grow a few crops like uh, groundnut, bajra, jowar and all. This type of soil is found in Tamil Nadu, Karnataka, Maharashtra, and plays a um, in some part of Andhra Pradesh. Tilangana, Odisha, Madhya Pradesh, even Jharkhand, Chhattisgarh, Assam, even our neighboring state, that is West Bengal. In these places, we find this red soil. Now, next is alluvial soil. This soil is most suitable soil for growing food crops. It is found in the region which are drained by a river and their tributaries. For example, the northern plains of India, the northern plains of India and the delta region, in the delta region it is found in the states of, it is found in the state of Punjab, Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, West Bengal, Odisha, Assam and Haryana. So, this soil is rich in minerals and this rich in minerals yeah, okay. The river normally carry large quantity of silt or uh, aluminum and silt consists of fine particles in the soil which carried by the running water and, uh, and are deposited in the bank of rivers and in the areas around it. So this alluvial soil is good for the cultivation of food crops like rice, wheat, jute, pulses, sugar cane and oil seeds. Okay. This is the most common soil found in India. Next is desert soil. Obviously we will find in the desert places like Rajasthan and Gujarat. Let's see. 
It is mainly found in the dry and arid areas of Rajasthan and Gujarat. It is very dry soil and is reddish brown in color. It is porous, infertile, and cannot retain moisture. It cannot pull any moisture or any water. So, although it is not possible to grow crops in the region, but okay, but proper irrigation facilities have annual cultivation of some crops. There are canals and all which we have already discussed in the um, chapter Desert of India. There, yeah, with the help of canals, the irrigations are uh, possible. Otherwise, uh, without canal or the irrigation is not possible. So, the next is the forest or the mountain swell. It is mostly found in the mountain region of India. It is uh, dark brown in color or black in color. Now this soil is very fertile because of the presence of humus. This type of soil is found in the lower altitude of Himalayas and the states of Assam, Arunachal Pradesh, Jammu and Kashmir, Himachal Pradesh, Uttarakhand, and in our state. This is Sikkim. Okay. A very a large varieties of tropical foods, tea, coffee, and spices are grown in this region. Wheat, maize, and barley also can be grown in this soil. Okay, next, the last is nitrite soil or nitrate soil. It is the mixture of red soil and clay. This is mostly found in the regions with etiquette rainfall. Etiquette means sufficient rainfall. It has low humus content. This soil is rich in iron and aluminium. So it is found in Western Khar and the parts of Tamil Nadu, Karnataka, Kerala, Odisha, Assam, and West Bengal. Meghalaya and Telangana. It is yellowish brown in color. Crops like rubber, cotton, groundnut, cashew, spices, tea, coffee, and tobacco can be grown in this kind of soil. So, these are the soil which we find in our country. Let's see. Now, the last one this is soil erosion and how we should conserve the soil. Okay, soil erosion takes place when the soil is blown away by the water or washed, washed away by the water and blown away by the wind. Okay, or the river or the rain. Okay. Soil erosion normally takes place in areas that have steep slope, which has steep slope, then steep slope. The soil from here will be will erosion will the erosion will take place in the slope area. If this is a swell, will by the help of not river water or by the wind. Okay, this is in the okay slope. Okay, where they happen, where trees have been cut down, or where trees have been cut down for the fuels or the commercial process purposes. This is called deforestation. If the trees or the forests are cut down for the commercial or for the mm, fuel purposes, this are called this process is called deforestation. So soil erosion can be reduced by building terraces on the hill sides. If this is a hill, okay, this is a hill side. Okay, this is let's see, this is hill. If we make terraces terrace like this, a land, then the soil erosion can be conserved or the pre prevent. Okay, now, and uh, in the terrace land, we, what we do, we cultivate uh, or the we do the agriculture and all. Now, planting of trees, planting of trees so that the root of the plant can hold the soil together is called afforestation. If you plant a tree in the forest, then it's called afforestation. And it's the best solution to pre prevent further soil erosion. Plants on the bank of rivers and the wetlands are 
the heart most important as their root blind the soil and slows down the flow of water. In the bank of river, if you plant a tree, then what happens? This tree, this tree, the root of the tree is can hold the soil in the bank of river and it can slow down the uh, flow of water, flow of water. So from this also we can prevent the soil erosion. Now, prevention of the soil erosion is called soil conservation. The prevention of soil is also called the soil conservation. It is very important that our farming techniques do not damage the structure of the soil. A good farming technique involves covering bare farmland with grass, crops, rotations and keeping the soil rich in humans. Now, the crops rotation means if there will be a, a land for the cultivations, this time you just plant cotton. This year cotton, then after year or two, then remove this cotton and put some another crops. That is rice or something else. With the rotation of these crops also helps in the prevention of the soil for the soil conservations. I hope you have understood the lesson stock. You all go through the page number 69, the map depicting the types of soil in India and even you all can draw this one in your text copy. Okay, this much for today. Till then stay safe, stay healthy. God bless you all.